So, uh, looking at the season, um, what, we still got one more tournament to go. What is your assessment of what has happened so far and have your objectives been achieved? Yeah, I think it's gone really well. Uh, obviously, the last uh, couple of years we've had challenges with the pandemic, but uh, that's sort of died down a little bit now, so that's allowed us to to run our programs a little bit easier this time around. So, very happy that we managed to get through um, both rounds, for both the, the tournaments that we've completed already. So I think uh, just from a game time point of view, I think we've definitely met our objectives there. And then in terms of uh, the way that the guys have played, uh, yeah, I was really happy as well that uh, again, both tournaments were very well contested. It wasn't one-sided or anything like that. With both tournaments really going right down to the wire. I like the Logan Cup, the game only being won on the last round. And then even with the, even with the one day games, the finalists only determined in the last round as well. So, so for me, that's, uh, that's really good for us. And uh, I thought, yeah, even the performances have been really good. We've had guys really putting their hands up. Uh, some of the senior players really doing well. And uh, some guys announcing themselves on the scene as well. For example, Ernest Masuku uh, being leading we can take uh, in the Logan Cup and then also being uh, second in the one day games really showed, really shows how far he's come along. And uh, from not really being in the picture of the national side, he will definitely be a consideration now. And looking at that, uh, looking at guys like Ernest Masuga, does that put them in contention for consideration for, say, um, tours that are coming up? Yeah, definitely. You know, that's why we play these games. And uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, this is obviously the level that we, we look to see uh, who's got what it takes to, to make the step up to the next level. So when someone performs like that, he obviously comes uh, straight into the reckoning. But obviously with... Uh, with the way our seamers have been bowling as well, it might still be a little bit of time before it then eventually does uh, uh, actually get into the 11 or into the actual squad. But I think it's done enough to, to, to raise uh, a bit of attention and uh, people are really definitely noticing him. And so someone would ask, isn't that then crying out for a Zimbabwe A side for him to get uh, some experience on that front? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, this year we, we're going to have a few A games as well. So he'll definitely be one of the main picks, uh, without a doubt. Uh, obviously with a few other guys that have uh, come along and uh, performed uh, uh, in this in this last season. Uh, but definitely he'll be right up there. Even someone like uh, Tano Makoni, who was number five on the Logan Cup sheet as well from Norway. Uh, those, so those are the sort of guys that will be looked at and uh, yeah, we definitely have a couple of eight tours coming up as well, so it will be a good opportunity for them. Any indication of who is most likely to face Zimbabwe A in tours this year? Um, we haven't really confirmed the ones that will come later down the line, but we, we're working on trying to get uh, either Pakistan or Bangladesh as well coming down, but uh, we've, we've already confirmed uh, our South Africa A. So that should be happening soon? Yes, um, that will be happening along with another two tours. We will play Namibia as well as the Afghanistan tour that was postponed from earlier in the year. And that will all happen before July, before we get into the uh, men's T20 qualifiers that we are hosting here. And that segues nicely to the next question. Uh, the preparations for the T20 tournament. Uh, did, other than those three tours, is there anything else that's happening? Uh, that'll just that'll basically be it. Those three tours, and then obviously our own domestic T20. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, we still to play that, so that's the beginning of everything. So we get through our domestic T20 uh, straight into the regional T20s from there, and then uh, from there we can then look at those tours. And then looking at finally, on the list, we're still speaking about domestic. What do you put down the uh, the batting performances, especially within the? The, um, the, the the Logan Cup too. Like there has been an improvement in the number of hundreds, for example. It's the last season in uh, ten matches were four hundreds, and uh, this season in a, a double the number of matches. There were almost uh, four times the number of uh, hundreds. Yeah, so I think it's, it's it's two things. Obviously, last season we didn't play as many games as we wanted to, so that uh, plays a part. Uh, and I think obviously in the beginning of the season. Uh, it starts off a little bit slower than it uh, does when by the time you get to the end of the season. So I think that extra game time as guys got a little bit more used to it and guys got a little bit uh, more into form, if you may. Uh, you obviously expect uh, better performances. So I think 
the number of games definitely uh, contributed. But I think the guys also played really well. I think uh, people are starting to put their heads up a bit more. And I think people realize that once they do well at this level, they then get uh, a look in for the main side. So I think that's encouraging guys to really push and uh, put out the performances that they put. And given that there's been such success in red ball cricket, uh, do we expect any test cricket this year? Yeah, again, it's also something that uh, that is still hanging a little bit. We're still in the in the process of finalizing the FTP, uh, so it, it's work in progress. We basically looking at at least maybe another couple of tests this year, um, or if we can get four tests in. But yeah, it's, uh, it just uh, depends on how the FTP ends up looking. But yeah, we are definitely pushing for for some test cricket this year as well. Of course, there's some of the stuff has been that Roman Mel is. Australia going to happen? Is India going to happen this year? The, the, those have been the highlights for the past three years. People saying, are those, are those series going to happen? Well, yeah, those series definitely have to happen. Um, uh, and I think it's more than likely the Australia tour was confirmed for this year already. And it's more than likely that the India tour will be confirmed as well because those are Super League games. Uh, we'll be moving away from the Super League now. Uh, but uh, for this last. Uh, uh, cycle and for, for this particular World Cup qualification. Uh, all those fixtures have to be fulfilled by a certain date before uh, the teams are determined that are qualifying automatically. So, so those years will definitely go ahead.